Hello everyone, Chris Campbell here in the shop once again before I go on my uh, Thanksgiving trip. This is the OG clock. It's been running uh, now for a couple of days. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and install the dial and the hands. And then we will address the um, glass um, face of the clock. So, <clears throat> this is the glass face. I've um, cleaned it up as much as they could possibly would be clean. It's not the best, but they wanted to keep it as original as possible, so we have done that. So I'm going to place it over to the side. <clears throat> this is the dial, and it is very old. They want to keep it original, which I don't blame them. All right, so we're going to dump out our parts here. Okay, so we have those. We're going to start off by placing the dial here. Let's see. Make sure we get everything lined up. This is a trial and error fit. Now we're going to install our minute hand. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and trip this wire. So that was seven o'clock. So we'll go ahead and set this to seven o'clock right there. And we will put our arbor on. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to test it, so I'm going to rotate it, that would be 730, and that's off, alright, so we need to adjust that a little bit, so we'll place this here, now we'll test it again. Five to the hour. So that is nine o'clock. All right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and move this up. That's nine o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and put our bushings in place. That's bushing number one. So that is at 9 o'clock, so we'll go ahead and move it around. That would be 9.30, 9.45, 9.50, we should be at warning. And that is 10 o'clock, that's perfect. All right, so we're good. Alright, so now the next thing that we're going to do is address the glass. 
this particular brand. message from Will Houston. Yes, Ready? sir, you're fine. And now what I have is some pieces of wood that I'm going to place in place. I'm going to grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what we have is our pieces of wood and our tacks. So we're going to go ahead and hand fit these pieces in place. So that's the way it should look. Now the next step that we're going to do is go ahead and clean up the case and make it look a little bit more shinier. So I'm going to pause just a second to get that ready. Here we go. Alrighty, so now I've got my wood polish. And all I'm going to do is go over the front. This is basically a varnish that they used back years and years ago. And so basically all you want to do is be sure that you varnish and polish the varnish. I'm going to use a little bit more. <clears throat> All right. Uh, glass cleaner this is actually a uh, custom design that I use You can see the dirt, so we're going to go ahead and switch that out and get another one. Okay. And we're basically 
basically just doing a pattern. You can see the grit and brown. Now we're going to start it, make sure that everything's working good. All right, so we'll go ahead and move it and advance it to the half hour. a dry towel and just go over the outer finish. Okay. And that my friends is a completed OG clock restore and complete rebuild of the movement this is a beautiful historical piece um, I'm so proud to be able to have actually worked on this and it has turned out to be a great piece of history and now that I know it's going to a museum and that I worked on it we're going to go ahead and wind it up fully so we're going to unlock the door completed OG clock rebuild if you have any antique clocks that you would like to have rebuilt or restored come see me at Campbell's antique clock and watch repair where we'll get you back in time in no time we're located in Anderson South Carolina we get clock works and watch works from all 50 states of the United States we are a top leader and a premier watch and clock maker so come see me and check me out on my YouTube channel for more information. Have a wonderful evening.